We're live. We're live. Hey, it's Chris Homestead and Hardway. And I might be making a mistake. I'm building a hog pen dead as we. There, show it to you right quick. This is the old way to build them, the way you used to build them back 60, 70 years ago. This is hog wire, and I've only got one strand of barbed wire on top of it. Traditionally, you put three every six inches. And it's just pulled tight with old barbed wire stretcher. It's not as tight as it's supposed to be heavy. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put an electric fence on the inside. And you see, I got the post on the inside because I'm going to go with an electric fence. And that's the way they used to do it. And what I want to talk about right quick is hog wire fences. We still had some when I was a boy that was just hog wire. And if you're not going to put an electric fence on the inside of it, you got to put a post every four foot and a stob every two foot. Now a stob, what you used to do, you used to drive them in the ground with a sledgehammer. This piece of post about three foot long, and you drive it in the ground and staple the bottom of the fence to it. Cause pigs would run out of hog wire. They, it wouldn't keep them in, you had to fix the fence every day. And they came out with fence chargers and started putting electric wire on the inside of them, seemed to work pretty good. I still don't think it's gonna be as escape proof of those panels. But since all I'm going to put in here is bread sows, this is going to be a pen for the bread sows to stay in. I went back and looked at some of the old fence down there in the woods my daddy had, and I built it just like he built it. And it seemed to work back then, but I think the more I do it, the more I feel like I'm messing up. Like it needs twice as many posts in it. And... I just don't know. I might be messing up. But I want to show y'all how to do this because this is by far cheaper. This is about a third of the price of building like this. Now show them the pigs right quick while they're here. This is the youngest litter of pigs. And I know we got a viewer or two that uh, wants one of them. They might watch this video so they can get themselves a little uh, view of the pig. Well, you know, your fence might be just right for some of the smaller pigs. Well, no, that's, it's the other way around. Because a small pig will go right up. Oh. Unless you put hot wire about six or eight inches off the ground. And what you run into then is they root dirt up on the hot wire and short it out. Pigs are smarter than you think they are. And I know I, I preach a whole lot about not putting pigs in the electric fence. But you need the physical barrier too. Because they check in the electric fence. Everybody don't tell you that. And I've come to the conclusion that a whole lot of what you see on YouTube is just... I mean, I hate the sound of it, but it's just people don't know what they're doing trying to tell. It's the blind leading the blind. But pigs check electric fences. They can tell when it's on. I don't know if they can smell it. I can't tell you the science behind it, but they know when that fence is on. And all you got to do, I've seen it happen. This happened here because we used to have sales and just an electric fence here too. But uh, you can cut that fence off to work on it, and they know it's off. They don't, they're not watching you. They're not seeing you touch it, assuming they're off. But they know it's like instinct. The minute you cut it off, they know it's off. And they'll walk right out. You know, we've got that perimeter fence there. It's kind of a backup in case something gets out. And, yeah, I mean, you can put pigs in three strands of wire like that until it's not working. You let a hurricane come along, the electricity go out and they'll be out. And that's what I'm worried about here too. I'm scared that the minute we lose power, I'm gonna to come out here and put a generator on the electric fence. But anyway, just a little quick, something might help you. And I appreciate you watching. And remember, you gotta fly a field and turn it over your mind. <laughs> 